during Robo. Robo killed my father. My mother has gone away. Robo killed my father, my mom, my sister and my brother. In one day we would go for burial, three or four burials in a day, <laughs> because of the, the war. Those were places where people ran to, to get safety, because of the guns in the villages. But the young ones, they could take them and train them, indoctrinate them into army, child soldiers. Church leaders were there all the time with them, standing by them, encouraging them. The challenge of resettling people back into their homes, helping them to access uh, basic facilities like shelter, like uh, water, education, uh, like medical care. You can destroy everything in a day, but rebuilding takes time. The church was active on the ground because even the time when people were experiencing all these difficulties. The church leaders were there. Emmanuel has been the longest partner of the diocese. I personally worked with Emmanuel International in the lay leaders training program in 94 to 97. It is the lay leaders who live very close to the, the people, to the Christians. Right? They are ever there, ever present there. Now CHE stands for Community Health Empowerment. The idea is that we empower people to be responsible for their own health. Obviously the other aspect of uh, CHE is to also introduce the, the people in the village to the Bible and being able to understand more about the Christian faith. helping to heal the trauma that people have gone through using, of course, the Word of God. It's time for rehabilitation, it's time for offering psychosocial support, it's time for helping the youth who have missed out on school, who are former abducted, to acquire skills, vocational skills, so that they can start using their hands to rebuild their land. How can we be able to let other people produce sufficient food for them. For the old population now, they have to depend on what they earn from their farms, from their gardens. Eh? The orphans, the widows, the widowers, the, the wounded, the victims of war, they're looking to the church for, for, for help. So that's one, an aspect that I do see that a man international can come in to support. Join us in the rebuilding of our, of our society. Uganda needs you.